In this episode I will show you how to improve the Tamiya F4B cockpit with some useful techniques and materials. Enjoy! Here is the new Tamiya F4B in 48 scale. There are many review videos of this kit on YouTube, so I won't waste your time showing what's inside the box. Let's get started. The first job is to cut the necessary parts from the sprues and clean them neatly. Only a few parts need to assembly before the painting process. I have to say that this is the most detailed seat I ever seen in a mass production plastic scale model kit. With a few touch it becomes very well detailed and great looking suit. Well done Tamiya. And here is the first of those touches. I'm cleaning the details on it first. I use a piece of kitchen scratch wrapper for adding some fabric texture. I'm folding one edge first. To create a pivot point, I apply some CA glue and fix the film at that point. And I glue all the edges step by step. Finally, I am cutting the excess pieces and I glue the rest in place. This time I'm using a liquid glue. It's butanol. And I glue all the edges step by step with CA glue. This PE part is from the spare box. You can cut a strip from any material like masking tape or aluminum foil and add like this. Now I can fix it to its place. Also, these belts are from my PE spare box. You can apply the kit's decal belts on a thick aluminum foil, trim them carefully and use them. I cut this strip from 3M blue masking tape. And that's it. One last thing. I'm adding the pipe and wire details using with lit wires. By the way, let me show you the lead wires I use. Let's add some wire details. This is how I flatten copper wires I collected from wires. These details I added may not look very neat and scaled right now. But when the cockpit is completed, they will add richness to the model as a complementary detail. Let's continue wiring.
clamping the wires with a strip I cut from self-adhesive foil. Finally, I can start to paint. Primer first. And the base color. After masking these areas, now I can paint them. The first gloss varnish layer before applying the detail paint with brush. But the decals first. To be honest, if you apply this decal properly, you won't need any detail set for this kit, especially in a deep cockpit like this aircraft. After standard decal applying procedures, the result is excellent. I prepared a wet palette tray and start to detail painting. If you are interested, here is the list of paints I use to paint the seats. I didn't like the handles, and let's make them from scratch. I use 0.2 lead wire for that. First I painted one half to yellow, and now I'm painting the other half to black. And I'm twisting it like this. I bet you find better tool than me for that job. I bent something I found in the drawer and use it for this job. Yes, it's a LED light. Since I decided to do this after painting, I have to cut the handles now. It's easy with a modeling saw. For this type of precision drilling, a syringe needle is safer than in a drill. Trust me, just point and drill. Let's glue the handles to its places. A toothpick helps a lot to shape the wire. I heavily apply CA glue to make the layers flatten. And I'm painting the remaining details with a brush. Errors don't matter. Washing will fix it all. I made these things from sliced lead wires, and I will use them to add detail to the back of the rear console. I am adding more wire details.
and it's ready to paint. Now I can apply the second layer of gloss varnish and all parts will be ready to weathering wash. I'm cleaning the excess wash with turpentine. And the flat varnish. For the glass effect, I am using gloss varnish. Actually, this is not for weathering. I am just highlighting the details. Let's do the final assembly and finish this. To be honest, I did not accept such a good result before starting this build. I'm very impressed with the kit's quality. Well done, Tamiya. In my personal opinion, this kit doesn't need any detail set except of seat belts. Also, the most of details not already visible after the fuselage assembly completed. Well, thanks for watching this episode. If you liked the video, please like and share. Subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. Also, you can support my channel if you can see the join button below or on Patreon. The links are in the information section below. See you soon on the next episode. Until then, take care yourself and keep modeling. Bye.